City of Rocks, which is kind of on the southern border of uh, Idaho and the northern border of Nevada. Uh, it's a pretty famous climbing location. It's also near Castle Rock, which is another famous climbing uh, area. Uh, we, right now, we are um, standing at the base of Steinfeld's Dome. We're actually a little left of it, and we're going to do a climb called Theater of Shadows. It's four pitches, uh, 400 feet long, and um, it's rated at 5.6, I think, or maybe 5.7. Uh, but either way, it's uh, mostly friction climbing. It's very slabby. But I think basically you just can kind of walk up it. There's bolts like every 5 feet. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous how many bolts there are, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think the view's going to be great from the top. First bolt is right there, and then it kind of goes up. And eventually, then we end up on top of that thing, all the way at the top. This is a really popular climb and we're the first ones here, so that's awesome. There's like three or four parties of climbers coming up behind us, so <laughs> awesome on getting up early. We hiked fast. This is why we were in such good shape in Sedona and St. George. It was quite the approach. <laughs> All right, we just finished pitch one. It's a lot of fun. Basically just walk up it, pretty easy, but it's a lot of fun. Say hi. Ho. Right. Here we go. One more, drink. One more drink. One more drink. All right. Bye. This would be a great first. Lead. This would be a great first lead. Yeah. Sorry, I'm leaving. I can't delay you. There's a bolt here, but... Like, why? That bolt's literally five feet from that one. Right there. Oh wow. Well. Poor guy. He's making a racket.
All right, you're on belay. Climb on. All right, Lindsay started the second pitch. Yeah, this is super fun. I like it too. It's a little slabby for my liking. I know, but I do feel like I'm going to slip occasionally. Okay. It's weird being so far away from you. What? It's weird being so far away from you. I was. Oh. I was standing up. This is very high. Look behind you, it's not that high. Awesome. We did, did it. it. Did it. Do you remember when we lived in Indy and you said that I would never get you on a multi pitch? Yeah. Yeah, I remember why. Why? <sighs> My legs are shaking, it's so high. It was awesome. Look at that. It's an amazing view. twice as high. Yeah. Mine a lot harder. And it's trad. We're not ready. <laughs> but I mean this isn't this makes it seem not as bad. Speak for yourself. Really? This is high. I don't feel that bad. You don't feel that bad? No, I feel good. I don't feel scared at all. It's a little high for me. It's high when you look at it that way, but if you look this way, it's not that high. That's true. That's true. I guess you're right. Looking over there, it doesn't look so bad. No. Now, if this was vertical and you're looking out that far, that would be scary. Yeah. Well, that was a lot of fun. It was our highest multi-pitch route yet. Four pitches, 400 feet, and the view is just spectacular. We were the first ones on it of the day, so that feels good. That's true. And Lindsay did a great job. Proud of her. Now we gotta get down. Oh. 
And we did a lot better with our anchors. We uh, set them up and took them down lickety split. We're just hanging out here with the birds. But behind us is just more mountain and more rocks. But underneath us, this rock actually doesn't have anything underneath us. It, uh, it's kind of scary, kind of hanging out here. Oh, jeez, oh. those birds. Oh my gosh. We're gonna get whacked. Oh, the rope totally goes all the way down. It is going to be a bit of a hanging lapel, okay. I think. But it's not, I don't think it's like, not crazy dramatic of a transition. Just take it slow. Did it. Did it. Alrighty, we've rappelled down and now we have to do kind of a scramble the rest of the way down, which we did not really realize. So this will be interesting in our climbing shoes. Away we go. See where we were. There's people way up there. It's called the Thumb. That's where we were. Pretty wicked sweet. We're very proud of ourselves. That was super tall. We saw several people checking in out, so that makes us feel good. It was a lot of fun. I feel great because I feel like now I'm starting to really be comfortable with all of the sport stuff, uh, making anchors, doing multi pitches because. I mean, I didn't have to hesitate at all when it came to setting up anchors and setting up top fillets and stuff like that. I mean, it's just like boom, 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 getting everything done. It felt great. It was awesome. We're almost back to the car now. We'll probably get some lunch on the way back to the RV. Uh, maybe drive around and scope some stuff out. We're definitely going to come back to this area uh, this summer. So. Well, we want to move the RV up here so we can be close to it and spend a couple weeks climbing out here. So we got to figure that out, but this is a great intro to it. We'd love to have you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment if you got any questions about climbing, uh, why we do it. If you think it's stupid, go ahead and leave a comment about that too. We'd love to read them. All right, thanks for living life with us today. We'll see you next time. There is nothing out here. Literally nothing. Oh, the town of Oakley. That's where we're going. 11 miles. Gotta check out the town of Oakley, even though we don't have Oakley with us. Bummer. I miss those little pups. They're bummed that they're not with us. I'm bummed they're not with us too. But they had a big day yesterday. We spent all day with them in preparation for being gone today. So they're probably thankful for the air conditioning and a little break from us.